There's a critical miscommunication occurring between educators and students, at least according to my research in the Japanese university context. The problem centers on the assumptions hidden in the word understand. Two broad definitions are in use concurrently in the classroom, one used by teachers and the other by students. If teachers are unaware of this definitional mismatch, questions arise concerning their pedagogic efficiency. Defining the cognitive processes involved in understanding is a highly complex procedure, but fundamentally, understanding is the connection of one type of meaning with another. We don't, for example, say, do you understand that one plus one equals two? The elements in that equation are present within the single problem space of arithmetic numbers and relationships. When you know the elements and relationships in a single problem space, you can derive the questions and answers relatively unproblematically. However, let's look again at the one plus one problem. A very young child may not be fully cognizant of the number system and the relationships. In the case of such a child having difficulty getting the answer, we may indeed say, one plus one equals what? Do you see? Do you get it? The words see and get are synonymous with understand, and they point to the notion that something is missing, that a connection can be made. To any adult, the answer is so obvious that we may not realize that there is a hidden element. Indeed, the sense of obviousness may be a limiting factor in our efficiency in teaching. If we don't know what difficulties children or students are facing, it's unlikely that we can help them through their conceptual blocks efficiently. Let's look at a more basic definition of understand. The act of comprehension is that of recognizing the first level connection between a given symbol and its referent. This applies to more complex sentence level meanings as well. Using this definition to mean understand is unlikely to satisfy educators when the true understanding is the goal. Yet students often aim for comprehension as their target in learning. I've just said true understanding. In the first definition, true refers to a hidden but connected element that is visible, so to speak, to the educator. What the element might be varies. If the problem space itself is a target of learning, then it's entirely possible that the hidden element is within the single problem space, as it was for our very young child struggling with one plus one. However, at the university level, a main purpose for educators is the development of people who can respond to the ill-structured problems of the modern world. Problem space elements do need to be taught, of course, but these are taught at the level of comprehension, not understanding. True understanding requires an ability to connect a, a single problem space element with either wider inferences within that problem space or to elements in a separate problem space. However, students are usually faced with the task of comprehension, not understanding. And they define understanding as acts that educators call comprehension. They believe that their role is to know about the meanings in their readings. They do not attempt to go beyond this task due to their belief that comprehension equals understanding. Three lessons can be drawn from this miscommunication. The first is that, as teachers, we need to be aware of the communicative problems involved when we use or assume understanding. We should realize the continuum that exists from comprehension to understanding and consider which elements we, as teachers, infer semi-automatically. There may be cultural and cognitive blocks that inhibit students' inference building. The more that we know about these, the better. The second is that teachers need to demonstrate connected knowing as much as possible and clarify that these connections are indeed 
examples of understanding. The final lesson is to ensure that we include genuine understanding tasks in our lesson activities and not be content with only comprehension.